traditional approach now we'll understand question properly so that easy to work out now do we have debenture no if there is no debenture we will not calculate even interest also one is 100 percent equity the second one your 30 percent debenture and balance will be equity cost overall cost of capital how to find out eb80 divided by v A warm welcome to one and all. This is your other sir here. Lecturing with the Ashram First Grade College, the Temple of Excellence. And now we are in the session 13 of your financial management. Almost it is the last session of your capital structure topic. Now, in this topic, what we are going to do? In this topic, we are going to discuss about your traditional approach. As I told you, there are two approaches are there in the capital structure. One will be your MM approach, Modiglian Miller approach. And the second one is traditional approach. Now, now we are discussing about your second as well as last approach that is called traditional approach. Now, smallest one as well as easiest one. Now. The agenda is very simple. We have concept along with concept, we have problem solved. So now, traditional approach. Now we'll understand question properly so that easy to work out. Now, ABC Limited having EB80 of rupees 1 lakh 50. What is the EB80 earning before interest and tax? Now, is contemplating to the redeem a part of the capital by introducing debt financing. Now, presently it is 100% equity form. This is the first one. What is the first one? 100% equity. Now, with the equity capitalization rate of 16%. One more information we got. The form is to redeem the capital by introducing Debt financing, this is the second part. Debt financing, second part. First one is what? 100% equity. What is the second one? Along with debt also. Now, 30% of the total fund of are up to 5 lakh, that is 50%. This is the third one. So total we have to do three things. One is 100% equity. The second one, your 30% debenture and balance will be equity. And the third one, 50% will be your debenture. Now, after that, the total fund, it is expected that the, for the debt financing up to 30% and the rate of interest will be 10%. For the second one, the rate is 10%. And KE, cost of equity, will increase to 17%, not increased by, increased to. This is the final one. However, if the firm opt for 50% debt financing, then interest will be payable at a rate of 12%. See, for second one, 12% interest. For the first one, 100% equity, there is no interest. And the cost of equity will be 20%. Find out the value of the form and VAC, weighted average cost of capital. Like this problem, you will not get, but safer side will do one problem. Under different level of debt financing. Now, see, first one, fully equity. Second one, 30% debenture. Third one, 50% debenture. Hope you are clear. First, 100% equity. Second, 30% debenture and 50% debenture. Now, EBIT, 1,50,000, 1,50,000, 1,50,000. ,000, All the three, 150, 150 and 150. Now, 100% equity. Do we have debenture? No. If there is no debenture, we will not calculate even interest also. Now, Interest portion zero. Here we have 30,000. Why it is 30,000? I'll show it. Your debenture 
3 lakh. Debenture is how much? 3 lakh. What is the percentage? 10%. Remember, this will be, I'll calculate 3 lakh multiplied with 10%. Hope you are clear. Yes. Now, after this, after this, Next one will be your last one. How come it is 60,000? We'll come back to this. Your debenture is how much? Your debenture is 5 lakh. What is the percentage? 12%. 5 lakh into 12%, 60,000. 5 lakh into 12%, it will be, this will be 50,000. And sorry, this will be 30,000 and this will be 60,000. Hope you are clear. How come you got this means? These are the calculation. Now, 150 minus zero, it is 150. 150 minus 30,000, it is 120. 150 minus 60, it is 90,000. Hope you are clear. Yes. Now, Value of equity, we have to find out. What is the formula? EBIT divided by cost of equity. EBIT divided by cost of equity. Now, EBIT, 1,50,000. Just now you got 1,20,000 and 90,000. Now, divided by cost of equity. You can go for EBT, not EBIT. You can go for EBT. Why we have given EBIT means because of first one. Your EBIT will remain the same because there is no interest. You can also take it as EBT divided by cost of equity. Now, 120,000, you got answer divided by 17%. 90,000 divided by 20%. Where do you get all this? See, your 20% for the third one and 17% for the second one. Hope you are clear. That's why I'm mentioning one, two and all because it will be easy for you to identify. Now, so we got all this information, 1,50,000 divided by 16%, you will get 9,37,500. 7,5,882, then 4,50,000. Hope you are clear. Yes. Now, after this equity, what is your debenture? We have to find out the debenture also. Your debenture is first column, fully equity. It will be nil. Second one, it is 3 lakh. And the third one, 4 lakh 50 plus 5 lakh, it will be 9 lakh 50,000. Hope you are clear. Now, 9 lakh 37, 500, it will be same thing. If you add this, it will be 10,5882. And if you add this, it will be 9,50,000. Hope you are clear. Yes. Now, cost, overall cost of capital, how to find out? EBIT divided by V. What is your EBIT? 150 divided by your value. What is the value? 9,37,500. EBIT divided by your value. Value is this one. EBIT divided by your value. Value is this one. What is the cost of capital? 0 0.16, 0 0.149, 0 0.158. If you want the final answer in percentage, then 0 0.16 into 100. You will get 16% and 0 0.149 into 100. 0.149 into 100, I'll get 14.9 percent. Last one, 0 0.158 into 100, I get 15.8 percent. Hope you are clear with this concept. Now, this is all about your session now. So easiest one, traditional approach, nothing complicated. That's why I have made this problem. But in examination, this is not compulsory. It is optional. It may come, it may not 
come also. Now, I'll go back to all these slides so that you can take a screenshot. This is your question, your solution part. So this is all about your today's session. Hope you understood what is capital structure. Capital structure, one of the most important topic under capital structure, we discussed about your normal problem like earning per share we calculated. After that, we gone for modeling Miller approach. After that, we gone for your traditional approach before we completed NI approach, NOI approach. So total basic problems, NI approach, NOI approach, MM approach, traditional approach. Total five topics we covered in this chapter. Thank you.